and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir Tarek. That's right, we are going to be trying to make Vladimir work here in uh, in the meta. Let's see, we're going to be combining Vladimir with Tarek. Both both are just champions that want you to attack. Um, they kind of work well together where Tarek can, has tough and it can give another unit tough, whatever it's supporting. And so whenever you attack with Vladimir, you can attack and have those two on the right. And those are two uh, units that you're going to deal one damage to, but they're going to be tough and, you know, deal damage to the enemy nexus. Tarek also uh, does a good job surviving damage usually. Uh, whenever it's attacking everything, having that tough, and so it does a good job leveling up Vladimir. Now, both Tarek and Vladimir like to attack, and they both like Overwhelm quite a bit because they're kind of easy to attack, but not easy to attack and trade with, or easy to block, sorry, but not easy to block and trade with. And so people will throw like little 1 1s in front of Tarek and Vladimir quite a bit. So they want Overwhelm. So we're going to have Kato the Arm being able to support and grant Overwhelm or give overwhelm for the round, which of course you want more things, more support allies with Terex, so that works well together. And we'll also have the Zenith Blades, um, also giving overwhelm to both of our champions, plus giving us some, a little bit of card draw, being able to um, you know grab another one out of the deck. And that's a card that you can copy over with Terex, so it works with Terex that way also. So those work very well with both of our champions. We're going to combine that with just like an early curve, like we're just going to be a curve out deck, um, you know, get a couple of ones, couple of twos, stuff like that. We're going to have some Crimson cards, the Curator and the Disciple that are good at surviving damage or, uh, you know, reward us for surviving damage. The Bloodletter that deals the damage to help level up um, the Vladimir. And just try to curve out and uh, have the top end be our champions and Overwhelm. Arena Kingpin, this this was a difficult card to to determine what to play with the three mana slot, you know, thinking Mentor the Stones, thinking um, Iron Ballista. I'm, I settled on Arena Kingpin because, you know, this is basically Senna, right? Like a three mana 4-2 quick attack. And it's not easy blocking a 4-2 a quick attack. And then if you can support it, you know, maybe give it tough, maybe, you know, with Tarek, but maybe grow it or give it Overwhelm, you know, putting a Zenith Blade on this thing, making it a 5-4 quick attack Overwhelm, that makes life pretty difficult for people, or, you know, Kato the Arm, that thing, you know, again, quick attack and Overwhelm, pretty nice little combination, a couple of Whirling Deaths to get rid of blockers to have Overwhelm deal more damage, or, you know, just be a nice little, uh, you know, spell for blocking, and that's kind of about it, so let's go and give it a try, let's play some Vladimir Tarek, we're going to be taking it on over to Ranked, here we go with Vladimir. Hey, Turk. Hello, hello. Raven Victor. Have I tried Swain plus Riven? I mean, I sure, I sure, I'm sure I have tried Swain plus Riven, but not any time recently. But I'm sure we've played those two together. Because um, we usually play three or four different decks every day with all sorts of different combinations and everything. Um, but I can tell you I haven't played them in the last couple of months. All right, what are we doing, Draven Victor? Okay, so we need to curve out, and we need our champions. But man, this is just a good hand. I really don't want to get rid of any of this. I really like the Transfusion in here with the Crimson Disciple. I really like the Pill Cascade. That was a tough mulligan. All right, well, good start for them. All right, doing good leveling up our Vladimir. Um, I don't think they're blocking this. Oh, they are blocking that. Wow. Okay. So I didn't really want to... Like, I don't want to use these two mana spells yet because I want to wait till after Taric. Opponents played this pretty well. Good and aggressive like that. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. Yes, of course. Emily. 
All right, hopefully nothing any good. Uh, regen's actually pretty good. Yeah, the regen's actually pretty good. It's gonna keep the Vlad or the Victor alive, but my Crimson Disciple will stay alive as well. So this is a good healthy attack. We level up the Vladimir. Do uh, this does three damage to them, and then with the Crimson Disciple it's a fourth. Then we do four with that, and then the Crimson Disciple surviving damage here is another fourth. They can, they can do something like that, and now my Crimson Disciple doesn't survive. But both of our champions will still be alive and very healthy. We also got to refill our hand with the double fell cascade. So this regen is going to be nice for them. really nice for them. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That's that's pretty good. Good draw. That helps me out against an open attack. Well, never mind. Does not help me against an open attack. Great hand opponent. Good job. All right, own one. Those are really good portal cannons. Okay, so we're playing against Poppy Ziggs Riven. I don't know, the, Zen the Zenith Blade's really nice on that Vladimir, though, too. We'll keep the two Crimson cards, you know, keep the Champion and the Crimson Curator, and the Transfusion's a good combat trick. Reporting in. I don't love it. I don't love it. I want to play the kingpin. I got big plans for this place. I'm the collect. Yeah, good hand again. Both opponents here are really using every single mana very efficiently and effectively. This is gonna cost you. I have the name. I need the reputation. Contologist is great with Noxus. We've talked about that before. Uh, we played a Conchologist Noxus deck yesterday. Alright, it's only one out of five. I'm inclined to play Kato. It's nothing personal. No, I think we're just going to open attack. Two combat tricks that I can use. Alright, 
Let's see, yeah, so Vladimir levels up. This kills the Arena Kingpin. One for you, and one for you. It would take, I'd have to, you know, I'd have to use a lot of resources to try to save the Arena Kingpin. The important thing about Vladimir leveling up is that now Vladimir drains, so maybe we can heal our Nexus with that. We just have to hope that we can keep Vladimir alive. They're going straight to the Nexus. Huh. Huh, maybe we should play a... Okay, so that's two, two, and three in there. I think they chose Zenith Blade. Could mean that we die to the five the five mana deal four. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So do I open attack? But if I open attack, it's only doing. Okay, I can open attack. It's only doing. Of course, they have the five mana deal four. So we'd only drain two. Hmm. I really hurt for drawing that one extra card. Good close game, opponent. Good close game. GGS. I guess I just should not have cast the Hell Cascade. Alright, so Echo Zillion. Let's keep our two units on the two spells back. And it looks like we'll redraw the two spells, but also get our other champion with Tarek. That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, we don't get to attack here. Our opponents are doing exactly what they want their decks to be doing. This is... We've had two close games. You know, two close games where they've gone our opponent's way each time. They haven't stumbled much at all. Nice day. If you're into coughing. By round two, we have four four bodies in play for two mana. Or I guess three mana. Zenith Blade's the only thing in hand that I can copy over. I guess, well, I guess we just redraw a new Zenith Blade, so yeah, let's just go and do this. I'm gonna draw a new one. We want to use mana, of course. That's new. You're provoking it. Unfortunately, that doesn't count as targeting or supporting. And be gone. I'd never keep my guests waiting. All right, so I don't get to copy anything over with Tarek. I don't really have to attack with Tarek either. Let's see what they're made of. Let's just make this attack and just wait. Try to get to the next round, have some more mana to protect Tarek. Everything seems so mid-rangey in the in the game. Yeah, I could see I could see that. It's it's definitely built around units and champions and stuff. Look, I've made a breakthrough. Combat is very important in this game. What you can do. For sure. Um, I myself like both decks that we're playing here are mid-range. 
left I myself play a whole lot of mid-range. Zenith Blade is really the only card out of the 30 that we don't want to draw because we just get the Zenith Blade for free, so that's unfortunate. We just lost a draw step for, for nothing. Down to six. Okay. All right, so we can't play the Blood Letter. Cause next round, I'm going to be playing Kato, Zenith Blade, and Transfusion. All. Doesn't mean we don't have to play Whirling Death. All right. Well, I guess it doesn't matter if the Zenith is my Daybreak card or not. Alright, where are you? You're at three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can level you up. But we'd have to do. Okay, that. Copy that. Okay. Okay. So, figured it out. We're not doing any. One suffers another. We're not doing, like, any drain with Vladimir this round. Oh, that hurts. Oh, both Mystic Shot? Wow, we were... Like, this game was over. This game was over. Oh, wow, that hurts. Well. I guess we do this. Um... Wow. Yeah, the yeah, opponent doesn't have cards right now. They'll draw another one right there with the Preservarium. It, the Whirling Dats are going to be very good to take care of the Echo. We should still be fine, but the game was definitely over if that last card wasn't another Mystic Shot. We were about to do lots of damage. And Terrick was going to be leveled up, and they were going to be like, can't take damage or die, and all that kind of cool stuff. Anywho, this is going to make sure they don't get that fleeting time trick, and so we should be still good to go. We even have a, bla a backup Vlad if something happens to that Vlad. Train for one. You made choices. Oh, the Hexite Crystal. That's still fine. We got transfer. Alright, the old Overwhelm Whirling Death combo. So now their blocker is gone. Overwhelm right, deals damage to them. And that will do it. Alright, we gotta win with Vladimir Terry. There we go. Gotta win. If. You know, Quicksand was like an option if, if uh, we went Transfusion on Vladimir, they could Quicksand, get rid of the Overwhelm. I, I don't know, I kind of like just keeping, trying to keep that other thing alive also, spreading out the, the damage. Lux Vagar sounds super scary though. So I want the Bloodletter to do damage to the Crimson Curator. Which does make my life kind of difficult here. So it means we gotta play the Solari Soldier first. Follow the horizon. 
I mean, this, this thing is going to turn into a 1 mana 2-2. Two, two. Ooh, free damage. Free damage. Get your free damage. We're giving away free damage over here. Astounding curiosity. I guess they could have sharp sight. No mercy for heretics. No. All right. So those traded like they would have anyway, and we just got some free damage. It's nice of them. That was nice of them. Sends free damage our way. Unfortunately, even though we got that free th three damage in that I was all happy about, if they play Vagar on, you know, like this, I this is unbeatable if you don't have removal, you know, like the Twisted Catalyzer on two, Vagar on four, I, I don't see how we can win, <laughs> you know, like Dark, yeah, I don't see how we win this now, which is too bad, but that's how it is. Yeah, this is brutal. Hello, my darling. Yeah, Demacia Darkness are using Lux as the other champion besides Vagar. Okay, cool, cool. Not killing something right now. Show them our metal. That's good, that's good. Alright, so I play Kato. They play Darkness. I transfusion. Attack. So do three to level up. Be four or five. Or be four. What time is it? I'm not expecting Concerted Strike, but I guess that's an option. I think Mini Morph would be more likely than Concerted Strike, but Concerted does go along with Darkness. Okay. I'm thinking that's Mini Morph. That's what I'm kind of thinking here, is that that's going to be Mini Morph. Delicious. So going with the Blood Letter, getting the, the plus three to, again, just kind of spread it out. And if I would have gone with the Curator, like the Curator is going to have one health right here, so die to like a one damage thing. Usually Mini Morph doesn't like stay out here, because it's burst speed, so it's, they're kind of saying this is going to be a fast spell, because that goes, yeah, that's got to be a fast spell. Unyielding Spirit. Let's put them down to one. They're tapped out. Oh. I was, yeah, they're tapped out. Never mind. Well, let's just do this and kill them. Risky unyielding spirit. Yeah, that was bold, wasn't it? It took me a little bit to realize they were tapped out. It, you know, like, oh, well, never mind. No. Bandle Tree. Alright, we're gonna have to outrace Bandle Tree. We don't have. Yeah, no Scorched Earths. So yeah, we don't have any Bandle Tree removal, so we're just gonna have to race. Zenith Blade, very important in racing situations. I also kind of like this transfusion, so I think we're going to keep, but we don't have either champion. Hopefully we draw the champions. But they're going to have lots of, like, small blockers, so we, we definitely want the Zenith Blades. Okay. Ours is the one true light. And the soldier is a 3-3. You best believe I don't play. The awesome. Glad we got that free damage in for one with that one two. Again, they're just passing out free damage. So we'll just continue to take it. 
Yeah, we got the reputation. People just handing out free damage today. Man, this panel commando is so good. Alright, so you can see why their deck blocks really well. Oh, Tarek. Tarek? If I knew I was going to have you, I'll have to wait on you. New venue, new money. <laughs> so this is why the Zenith Blade's going to be so important. So I'm not even going to attack it with the other stuff. I know we could attack it with like the 2-3, but it just gives them like a free block that they're going to be happy about and just gives them more room to play more units. We'll attack with the 4-2. But that's going to be a... No, 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 no. Something expensive. Come on. Oh, Loof Travelers is such a killer. That's so sad. Oh, that's so sad. I actually should have just played Zenith Blade right here at, for Daybreak first before playing this. Let's cook em. Man, that Aloof Travelers is just... That one hurts. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Alright, I'll go with the Curator because they are a Ravenous Flock deck. I just know the heroes around here somewhere. Man, this just this just helps them out so much. Be able to trade with things. But it's better than Poppy attacking. That aloof traveler as well. Here comes Flux and Scorch Earths and stuff like that. My, that'd be my guess. Yeah, could be Pokey Stick. Alright, so they're down to five. They took all that. So now it's like going to be about trying to uh, kill them Crimson Disci Disciple style, probably. We're going to be playing this Crimson Awaken our next round to deal one with the Disciple and make two more Crimson things, try to make more Crimson Disciples, that kind of stuff. We made it. Seriously? But our stuff did it. Never mind. Never mind. I'm not bitter at all or anything. Not at all. That, again, that Awakener was going to create two cards and deal the damage to them. That card was just going to be so important. They're still at five and we got a couple Overwhelms. Keep a transfusion available. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. Over here. Fine. Fine. That's fine. So I'm not letting them play, you know, like basically getting any other board space. Or, you know, like not really allowing them any other help with the board space.
Yep. It's nothing personal. Alright, let's try this out. Try to get this overwhelm. So it's as close, we get him down to one. We could really use another Crimson Disciple or Crimson Awakener, either one. No, there's like, there's, I guess, and then, or the the other two, the Crimson Aristocrat, I think it's called. There's basically, there's five Crimson cards. Two of them would have won us the game. Or sorry, three of them win us the game. Two of them do not. This is one of the two that do not. The only two that do not are the Bloodletter and the Curator. The other three, Disciple um, or Awakener or Aristocrat, any of those win us the game, so. Unfortunately, we hit the 40% that do not win us the game. In. We can try again, though, yeah. That's true. We can just try again. With Bloodletter and Akira Terror, we get to try again. And again, it'll be a 60% shot when... Okay, so now they attack out like that. That makes things both better and worse. Worse from that perspective, but better with the... Uh, from the Bastion per perspective. Okay. This is gonna cost you. But I'm rich! Come here, darling. This version usually doesn't play Fervor, Fizz Poppy. We gotta hope they don't have it. They don't usually play Fervor. Oh, man. I just had another Fizz. It's a sad game. Sad mini morph game. I would have blocked the poppy the round before, would add five more life. Uh, yeah, not much I can do. Just all units in hand, just need one more spell. I feel like I could have done something that game to maybe get one more point of damage in, but I don't know, maybe not. The Aloof Travelers just, you know, the Aloof Travelers, Travelers killed us. Like, it's just as easy as that. Like, you know, the Taric would have been amazing, but without that second one, the, you know, like, this this Awakener was going to win the game. That second Aloof Traveler saved my opponent. All right, so only two and three. We had our first two opponents that had really, really good hands. And, like, this kind of deck, you know, like, it's going to be solid, I think. Like, as we saw, like, we were consistent basically every game. We were doing pretty good stuff. But nothing like really broken, you know? But we had, I think this deck's, you know, I think it's solid. I think that's what it is. I, I don't think it's a, a poor deck at all. I think I'd be pretty confident in going three and two most times. We did run into two opponents, the first two, that had really good hands and, um, you know, had exactly what they're trying to do, really use their mana well. And so they won those games. Nothing wrong about that. We ran, it, ran into a couple of opponents that stumbled just a tad bit more. We were able to uh, pull out the, the next two. And then that last one, we got Aloof Traveler pretty hard. Really needed, you know, neither of those Aloof Travelers. But we just didn't have any of our, uh, you know, we didn't have, like, our other power that last game. You know, like, no Kato's, no Vladimir's. Our one Terra got tossed. And then, like, the one um, Crimson Awakener got tossed. So, like, we had only, you know, three mana or less cards the entire game. And so it's, it's kind of hard to get all 20 damage in across. We were so close getting them down to one zenith blade was awesome that last one just spreading out the you know being able to draw more zenith blades and spread out that overwhelm but didn't you know didn't quite get there uh thanks to that 
the mini morph. Super close, though. Super close. All right, but that's going to be it, though, for Vladimir Tarek. Still a good showing, though, with that last game of, you know, having no champions um, because they got aloof. You know, the one champion we drew got aloofed away, so no champions. And against a very good Bandle City hand, like they, you know, were uh, going really wide, really fast against that kind of hand with no champions. Still almost got there, got them down to one, and uh, that's still a really good showing. Anyway, that's going to be it, though, for Vladimir Tarek. Uh, so... Um, those y'all watching later on YouTube, give it a try. If you're looking for a Vladimir deck, give it a try. Cause I think this is a pretty solid deck. Like I said, I would be pretty confident winning three out of five with this consistently. Um, you know, sometimes two out of five, like we did here, but I'd be pretty, con pretty confident winning three out of five consistently. So yeah, give it a try and let me know how it goes. Love to hear about it in the comment section. If it's been going well for you, let me know about it. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.